In the headlines, Brazil says a gap between the first and second commitment periods for the Kyoto Protocol must be avoided in Durban. And the SA government has been warned against increasing value-added tax as an option to finance the proposed national health insurance. I'm Richard Brooks. Brazil says a gap between the first and second commitment periods for the Kyoto Protocol must be avoided in Durban. Brazilian Environment Minister Isabella Teixeira was addressing the final day of the high-level presentations by heads of state and government leaders at COP17. Brazil made a similar call to other developing nations for developed nations to accept their responsibility to further commitments. Teixeira says developing countries are already playing their part by making efforts to voluntarily reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. The parties have agreed to define further commitments for parties included in Annex 1 for the period beyond 2012 in time to ensure that there is no gap between the first and second commitment periods of the Kyoto Protocol. Durban is our last opportunity to avoid this gap. We must adopt the second commitment period by the end of this week. We are determined to keep up the implementation of our actions in the context of sustainable development and the fight against poverty. The South African government has been warned against increasing the value-added tax or VAT as an option to finance the proposed national health insurance, as this will negatively affect the poor. This emerged at the NHI conference in Midrand, north of Joburg. Increasing sin taxes and on unhealthy food were some of the suggestions discussed. Executive Director of Section 27, Mark Haywood. VAT as a means for financing national health insurance is a no-go. It is a further tax on the poor and it should not be seen as a means to raise finances. We have to look at health taxes on soft drinks, on alcohol, on cigarettes, and we have to start a process to build community support and understanding of the necessity for those taxes because we can be damn sure that when we start to introduce those taxes, the vested interests that profit from soft drinks and alcohol and cigarettes will not take taxation lying down or without legal challenge. The Communications Ministry and ICT companies have agreed to speed up the rollout of broadband in the health and education sectors. This emerged during a meeting between Communications Minister Dina Pule and the country's largest 30 ICT companies in Midrand, north of Joburg. Pule says they want to ensure that all schools, hospitals and clinics are connected and have access to the internet. We have also agreed that um, by 2020 we must have created uh, together ourselves as um, government and um, and the industry over one million jobs. This is part of our contribution to the one of the key priorities which is creation of jobs in this country. And the last one is the uh, development and implementation of the e-skills program. Children in South Africa, all of them, they have to be trained in, in technology.